Hey guys, it's me, Miss Miller, here to teach on behalf of all of us in Algebra 1 to introduce something we call the X game. Um, this is a number game where it's going to help introduce for you how to factor. So I'm going to start getting right into it on how you can play this game in order to help you build your factoring skills before we start factoring trinomials. So this is what it's going to look like. And the sentence you want to read to yourself is finding factors of, and here is this blank, finding factors of, and it's the top number. We're going to find factors of, and we're going to write them out as pairs that add to our bottom number. And the, in Delta Math, they even give you these little hints that this is the multiplication and this is the addition. So we're going to write our pairs of 56. Remembering that pairs of positive 56 are both negatives and positives. So let me just do this real quick. That you can write them as negative and positive. So we, a factor of 56 would be 1 and 56, but also negative 1 and negative 56. Remember, negative times a negative is a positive. 2 also goes into 56. If you struggle with writing factors, just take out your calculator and start dividing, um, starting with 1 and go down the list. If you get a number with a decimal or a fraction, then it is not a factor. We want them to go in evenly. So 2 does go into 56, so we get 2 times 28 or negative 2 times negative 28. That gives me 56. 3 does not go into 56 evenly. The next number that does is 4, and we have 4 and 14, or negative 4 and negative 14. 5 doesn't, 6 does not, 7 does 8 times. 7 times 8 is 56. And the reason I know I'm done with my list at this point is because if I were to go to the next number 7, I would get 8, and that would be a repetition. If I kept going, I would then get 14, then 28, then 56. I don't need to repeat any of them in my list. Now, the second step that we have this list is to add the factor pairs to find 15. In this video, I am going to be adding them all up, even when I do finally find 15, just to show you what you need to do. So I'm first going to add 1 and 56 and negative 1, negative 56. 1 plus 56 is 57. Negative 1 plus negative 56 is negative 57. Both of those are not what we want, so let's keep going. 28 plus 2, or 2 plus 28, is 30. Negative 2 and negative 20 is negative 30. 4 and 14 give us 18. Negative 4 and negative 14 give me negative 18. We're getting closer. Hopefully one of these works. And what ends up happening is 7 plus 8 is 15. Negative 7 and negative 8 is negative 15. It's important to remember we're looking for positive 15, this bottom number. So my answer is 7 and 8. And it doesn't matter which one you put where. So I just put 7 and then 8. You could switch it around to be 8 and 7. Let's look at another example. Here I have 12. I want to find factors of positive 12 that add up to negative 13. A hint here is that since this is a negative factor, I know that the factor pair is probably going to be negative since I have a positive number I'm trying to write factors of. So we're going to write factors of 12 that add up to negative 13. So factors of 12. 1 goes into 12 12 times and negative 1 and negative 12. Then we have 2 goes into 12 6 times. Negative 2 goes into 12 negative 6 times. 3 goes into 12 4 times. And negative 3 goes into 12 negative 4 times. Now that I have my list, I'm going to add the factor pairs to find 13. Negative 13. Sorry, that should be negative. 1 plus 12 equals 13. Negative 1 plus negative 12 equals negative 13. If you wanted to be done at this point, you could. You could just say, I know my factor pairs are negative 1 and negative 12 and write them in. But again, as today's purposes, I'm going to go ahead and add so that you can see 2 plus 6 is 8. Negative 2 plus negative 6 is negative 8. And 3 plus 4 is 7. Negative 3 plus negative 4 
is negative 7. So now that I know my answer, which is negative 1 and negative 12, I write that in. And as I said before, it doesn't matter the order. You could have written this as negative 12 and this is negative 1 as long as the negatives are there. That's really important. Last example. Here I have a negative number on top. How we get negative numbers is a negative times a positive. So when I list my factors, one of the numbers will be negative and the other pair will be positive and vice versa. So I want to make a list of factors of negative 20 that add up to 8. So I have negative 1 and 20, also positive 1 and negative 20. 2 goes into 20, negative 2 times positive 10 is negative 20. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. 3 does not go into negative 20. 4 does, so negative 4 times 5 and 4 times negative 5. Here is my complete list. Now I'm going to add to find 8. Negative 1 plus 20 is positive 19. 1 plus negative 20 is negative 19. Negative 2 plus 10 is 8. 2 plus negative 10 is negative 8. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. Now again, we're looking for factors that add up to positive 8. Positive 8 is going to be given by negative 2 and 10. So I write those factors in the empty boxes. And again, you could put it as 10 and negative 2 or negative 2 and 10. The order does not matter as long as the negative sign is correct for the number. If I put in positive 2 and negative 10, I would not be correct because that would give me negative 8. I hope you find this video helpful in playing the X game on Delta Math.